Four months ago, I broke the world record for the fastest Barrows gloves in old school RuneScape. And after so many practice attempts, I ended up with 10 accounts that had Barrows gloves. But getting the world record was never my end intention. I planned on making 10 Rune Dragon ults so I could kill 100,000 Rune Dragons. And that journey is gonna finish today. I'm about to waste a whole lot of money and time for basically no reason. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as I lie for squint and can't just stare. We've been through thick and thin. She already fixed some halfway there. Okay, I now have 10 accounts with Barrow's gloves, but they're not finished yet. I still need to get them to Dragon Slayer 2. Um, it's going to be a long, long grind. So some accounts like this one already have 92 mage. This one has 64 defense, 78 range. This is the perfect amount of XP that um, now I train on long range with chins and I'll get to 80 and 85 at the exact same time, which is exactly what I wanted. Other accounts like Shake Upton, for example, don't have 92 mage yet. So I'm sat here splashing. And once I finish splashing, that's when the range training is going to begin. And then of course, you've got accounts like Make Upton, which already have 94 mage, 85 range and 80 defense and just need to get that infernal cape these are accounts that i didn't do the barrows gloves runs on recently these are ones that i i had previously so the plan is to get all of these accounts up to their point where they can do the inferno and then once i do the inferno put them in nightmare zone to get the max combat stats now while they're in nightmare zone uh, i'm going to be playing on separate accounts to get the re prerequisites for dragon slayer 2 I need to get things like 70 mining and smithing stuff like that 60 thieving a lot of quest requirements so while i have five accounts in nightmare zone i'm gonna have one account outside getting the requirements three tick mining stuff like that and pumping those requirements out as quick as possible also i forgot to mention some of these accounts are like my old group iron man so this one in particular already has dragon slayer 2 completed just needs the combat stats trained up and the infernal cape so some accounts are already pretty much done ready for those rune dragons all right that is 80 range on bake upton now rather than um wait around for 85 range and uh, 80 defense i think what i'll do because i can only chin on one account at a time because i'll be honest with you it's you know playing 10 accounts at the same time not the easiest thing in the world what i'm gonna do is get the accounts to 80 range and then get them out in missouri with a veneto bow and then just put them in nightmare zone to finish off the last five levels then just take one of the other accounts put that at chins and then get that up to 80 range because i mean i'm going to be spending the time anyway might as well just use the afk time in nightmare zone which doesn't take any concentration at all i mean we're getting 57k xp per hour in both range and defense just using the venator bow in the uh full missouri so i'm pretty happy with that that's uh about half as fast as chins but um super afk okay so based on how long this is taking and how impatient i am i have 100 changed my mind here um i'm confident in my abilities to get uh, an infernal cape with 65 defense i can take bandos in for my range tank gear and i can just use the um unfortified missouri uh for the range accuracy and stuff like that so i mean i'm, I'm gonna have low defense but i am a grand master you know what i mean i surely can do an inferno with 65 defense it can't be that hard and i cannot be sitting here for any longer than i really need to uh yes i was wondering when this was going to happen the skeleton champion scroll i mean i think i'm just gonna pick this up there's no reason not to and i think it might be cool one day to go for 10 accounts with the champions cape yeah imagine the clickbait on youtube that would be that'd be nuts 1500 skeletons on a drop rate all right there is 80 range on take upton i don't have a teleport to get out of here um i think we now only have five accounts left to go to get to 80 range at chins <laughs> which that's what we like to see five to go 65 defense on snake upton working on that 80 range yo champion scroll on snake upton as well and if you're wondering what the hell that sound is i'm on a treadmill under my desk and there is 80 range on snake upton uh, three accounts remain that we need to get 80 range at chins on. And, uh, well, we can't do that yet because they're still splashing. So once they're done splashing, we'll get them down to the monkey madness tunnels and get them 80 range. In the meantime, we're just going to be nightmare zoning the rest of the accounts with the Benedibo. Today is a sad, sad day, ladies and gentlemen. I do not have the money to fund my accounts. And since I am planning on using these for Rune Dragons, including this one, uh, I'm not going to be using this account for much in the near future um, to PVM with. So I'm selling off my shadow 
to purchase stuff for the other accounts and this will also be 10 sets worth of Justice Shah and Dragon Hunter Lances and stuff like that. And this is enough to train them all up. Um, but yeah, the shadow is gone for now. We will get it back because 100,000 Rune Dragons is a lot of Rune Dragons. It is actually crazy how much you can buy with the money from one shadow. Like I just got Venator bows and Missouri sets and Sarai Van Braces for three of my alt accounts with literally just the cost of one shadow. And I still have 72 mil left and I just bought three bonds for them all. Look at this shit. They're all bonded up. Three bonds a piece. And I've still got money left over. Dude, the upgrades are gonna look so nice. Look at this shit. <laughs> look at those boys, man. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Dude, I was about to get really wild and buy harmonized stuff for my splashing accounts so that they could splash one tick faster and I'd get 20% extra XP. But you need 50 hit points. These bad boys are only 45 hit points. I actually can't even wear a harm stuff. That's crazy. Okay, it is a dreaded time right now. I have to buy membership for all of my alt accounts that I'm training up. So that's eight accounts, three bonds a piece, 45 days. This just cost me 192 million GP to keep my accounts membered for 45 days. And here we go. God damn. 45 days of membership on all the accounts. Now that's not the reason I'm making this clip. The reason I'm making this clip is because I was sat around trying to get infernal capes on all these accounts before I took them into Nightmare Zone. And I mean, I'm just sat around doing nothing on these accounts while I'm waiting to get the infernal capes on the other ones. I, f this. I'm just sending them all into Nightmare Zone now. Some of them don't even have fire capes. Or some of them don't have dragon defenders, but I'm better off just putting them all in Nightmare Zone and training them up and doing all that shit later than sit around doing f all. So here we go. Okay, and just like that, all of the accounts are now set up to go into Nightmare Zone. Some aren't 60 defense, some are 60 defense. We've got the Obsidian ready for when they all are. That's going to be the first goal on all of them. 60 attack, 60 defense. Not going to bother going for the defenders. I'm going to do them one by one. We're just going to keep them in Nightmare Zone, all right? It's definitely the best play. Very interesting night on the sticks here. I uh, am going for a Dragon Defender, the first one I'm going for uh, here on Make Upton. And uh, we've killed 270 Cyclops. I got a thousand Warriors Guild tokens, and now I'm about to get kicked out. All the while, I'm trying to fucking play seven accounts in Nightmare Zone. This is not what you want. The worst part is because I'm here on my main account pot sharing, I forgot that you even need tokens because this one doesn't with the max cave. I forgot that you even need tokens here. And so I, I'm about to run out and I've just gone, hang on a fucking minute. Dude, the night gets even worse, bro. The bank, I look in the, in the bank, there's a, a, like a placeholder. And I was like, maybe it's the raids bank, dude. I've been here oh, all night, bro. I could have been here on another account. I've had a dragon defender this whole time. <laughs> no! Just got 60 defense down the bottom here. Put the obby on. And that, if we put it onto strength now, uh, that is every single account in full obby. So they're all wearing the same gear, except for this one. This one has 57 attack, um, at which point we'll switch over. But uh, looking pretty good, full obby everywhere. And now it's just strength training to the moon. All right, that's a fire cape on Break Upton. Equip that bad boy. And now we just have to go get the dragon defender. Oh, finally we get the dragon defender. I reset my thing at like 100 KC. So <laughs> Break Upton, unlucky. That's two in a row we've been unlucky on. This is not what we like to see. Hopefully the rest come around. All right, so there's a fire cape on Wake Upton. I forgot how shit it is not uh, having rigor and like max combat doing this stuff. I haven't done it on an account that's not maxed in so long. Man, a bit of a crazy discovery here. I have um, two accounts with the same stats right next to each other. This one is in a normal uh, instead of a hard rumble. And they're getting the same XP per hour and only a little more taken off on the absorption which means I could just overload and step away from the computer for five minutes on all the accounts if I do a normal, uh, which is what I think I'm just gonna do. I might as well just start bashing out normal rumbles instead of 
hard ones. It's the same XP. You just you go through a little bit more absorption potions, which is not an issue at all. You make the points back. Wake up in here. The first of the ults to reach 94 strength. So that means we're going to attack now. 94 strength is the highest that I need to go to get max hits. The next max hit would be at 99. So there's not any point going any higher. So go to 94, we'll get to 94 attack, and then we'll get to 90-ish defense. And then this account is ready for Dragon Slayer 2, which I think it might have, it hasn't already done. Cool. We'll have to get the stats for that one. This one will definitely be the first one out of Nightmare Zone. I've been so busy with these accounts in Nightmare Zone, I've forgotten that I'm going to have to train them up for Dragon Slayer 2. There's a whole lot more skills than just getting your stats up that I need for Dragon Slayer 2. This is a list of skills. This is the account that's closest to it. I'm going to start with the one that's closest to it. Probably not the best idea to start with the one that's closest to it, but I don't know. I just can't really be bothered tonight. I also have a, quite a few quests I need to do as well. And that thieving XP, I think you get from Le Legends Quest anyway. So I might as well complete that. Uh, before I do the rest of that thieving training. And then on top of that, I need 200 quest points. So I'll just complete the quests that give me the skills XP that I need for Dragon Slayer 2, if that makes sense. First things first though, this account is actually my old group Iron Man that has Song of the Elves done. Uh, and that was completed before the quest XP rewards came back out. Never mind. It looks as though I've already claimed it. That is unfortunate. All right, there is 60 thieving on Snake Upton. That means I have all of the skill requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. Just the quest to go now. 94 strength on Make Upton. So we're going to move that one over to attack now. It's probably going to be the second one outside of Nightmare Zone. All right, time to stop messing around. I can't just be sitting here in Nightmare Zone all day with all my accounts. I need to actually start getting going with all the questing on these. So I'm going to take this account out. Why does this say this player is offline? This player is not offline. This player is online. So I'm going to take this account out of Nightmare Zone. I'm going to start questing it up. Legends Quest is the first one on the list. It is a prerequisite for Dragon Slayer 2. And that is really good because it's going to give us a lot of agility XP. And nobody likes training agility. So we need to get ourselves 50 crafting, 45 herb lore, 50 smithing, and 50 woodcutting. I'm going to go get started on the woodcutting straight away. And these skills can also be boosted if we really can't be bothered. But I mean, look, we can be bothered. We can be bothered. All right, 50 woodcutting. Let's go get ourselves 45 herb lore. All right, 45 herb lore. We move on to crafting. 45 crafting, just the smithing left to go. And there is 50 smithing. That is everything we need for the Legends quest. Let's go punch that bad boy out right now. And then we'll get the rest of the stats for Dragon Slayer 2. We still need 70 smithing, 68 mining, 62 crafting, 60 agi, 60 thieves and 50 construction. Fuck me. And there we go. Legends quest is completed. Let's go ahead and put all of this into agility. 30,000 up to 52. 30,000 up to 54. 30,000 up to 56. And another 30,000 up to 57. Almost 58. We are very close to 60. And that's Legends Quest done. We still have Ghost Sahoy and Dream Mentor to do as pre-requirements. And then all of the skill pre-requirements. We still know there's three agility levels and 200 quest points, which we're still 18 off. So I'm going to find quests that I can get agility XP from. Right? Eid Gizruz. That is Lunar Diplomacy completed. On to Dream Mentor now. And there is Dream Mentor. And we get an XP lamp here. I don't know what we can use this on. All right. Guess we use that on Strength then. And now we just have one more quest requirement. It's only Ghost to Hoy, a very easy one. And there it is, Ghost to Hoy. We now have 189 quest points out of the 200 we require for Dragon Slayer 2, which means we can be selective about the last 11. And we're going to choose quests that are going to give us agility XP so that we never have to train it. I'll be honest with you. I've lied to you all. We are going to train it. There's no quests that are worth doing for agility XP. So I guess we're going to get three levels. First account to get to 90 attack. And that's where we're going to stop. We'll get to 90 attack, 90 defense. And then we'll just train our stats on the rune dragons when we get there. And there's 60 agility. That is the last time we'll be training agility on this account ever. Wish it was the last time I was training agility ever on any account, but... We got another eight to go after this. 62 crafting, another one out the way. And there is 50 construction. I think I will end up getting, I think it's 70 something I need to get for the mounted dig site pendant for these rune dragon alts. But that's a story for another day. For now, we just have 60 thieving, 70 smithing and 68 mining. Mining, obviously the longest of those. And I am not looking forward to it. I ain't gonna lie, guys. This shooting star update kind of poggers. 33k an hour afk like i could do this on all 10 accounts at the same time this is chilling and find one 
star and just do all of the accounts because mining is by far the worst skill to train up. This could be the play, honestly. This honestly could be the play. And 68 mining, there we go. Just two skills to go. I can't believe I have to do this another five times. I already want to put my head through a wall. And this is the last inventory of gold bars here for 70 smithing, which is the last skill requirement we have for Dragon Slayer 2. All skill requirements out of the way, just 200 quest points to go now. There is one more skill that I am gonna get up and that is defense because I wanna do the King's Ransom quest. And for King's Ransom, you need 65 defense. I have all of the other prereqs, but I figured I might as well get piety within those 200 quest points because I'm gonna get the defense level anyway. And I obviously want piety on these accounts. So let's get this bread. There's 65 defense. Let's go get ourselves King's Ransom done and finish off these quest points. And Dragon Slayer 2 is done. And this is King's Ransom. This is going to take us up to 190 quest points and give us access to piety once we do the Night Waves training ground, which we are going to go do right now. Yo, what? I get a fuck lamp from this 5k agility xp swear and the night waves training ground is over lots of xp there and just one defense level actually no attack levels that is very surprising how about that uh but we can now use chivalry and piety when we get there and rigor which we will be getting on all the accounts it's going to be very expensive i'm not looking forward to it that is anakla's anakra anakra's lament just realized i still got this antique lamp from when I did recipe for disaster because I wanted to use it on agility but I didn't have the level so there's another 20,000 agility XP. That is the garden of death another quest point. Low ice mountain another quest point. The eyes of Glufferick 196 quest points. Enlightened journey 197 quest points. Hand in the sand for one more quest point and just one quest remains and this is going to be the haunted mine two quest points 200 total and if we have a look that is all of the requirements for dragon slayer 2 so let's get this party started. Speaking to Alec Kincaid, and that is Dragon Slayer 2 completed. 71 smithing, 69 mining, 62 agility, and 61 thieving. And on top of that, Alan is going to give us a lot of strength XP. 25k, 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 and 25k. Not even going to give us a strength level. Oh, it's that time again. That being said, this should be the last time before we actually start making money back from these accounts, but it hurts every time. This is 270 mil in bonds and there's 270 mil down the drain. God, that hurts. And that is 74 construction. That is a level we need to boost up to build the mounted dig site pendant. So let's go and do the rest of the shit we need to do to get that going. There she is, the dig site pendant. We're just gonna give it to this guy over here. He's gonna take it and we can make dig site pendants. Beautiful. There we go, the mounted dig site pendant. I don't think I can actually teleport anywhere. Wait, can I? Yeah, I haven't unlocked the destinations yet, but once I do, I can now teleport straight to rune dragons. I'm uh, I'm killing rune dragons to fund the bonds for these accounts that are gonna turn into rune dragon killers. And I just got a collection log, the dragon limbs. All right. We take those. There it is, 70 prayer. I was gonna go to uh, 74, but um, I don't really need rigor. It's just gonna be like a money sink to these accounts right now. Maybe I will need it in the future, but right now I don't need it. Um, so we're just gonna stick at 70. Can't use piety because I need 70 defense, unfortunately. Um, but once I get that, I'll be able to use piety. And this account is done. All it has to do now is sit in Nightmare Zone until it's 90 stats. After it's base 90s, we chuck on full Justy, a Fury, a DFS, and we fly down to the Rune Dragons and start making 1 million GP per hour. And now we just have to do that entire process again. Another six times. Here we go. Dragon Slayer 2 on Bake Upton now complete. That is now five accounts with access to... Rune Dragons. Questing out on Snake Upton right now to finish up Dragon Slayer 2 and uh, one of my other accounts just started flashing. Huh, would you look at that? I have the Rock Golem pet on one of my alts. <laughs> uh, now look, I'm sure some of you have uh, seen my most recent video uh, in which I started doing mega scale raids. And look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Came into a fair bit of money. And this is probably going to be the most expensive thing that I do on all of these accounts. And that is rigor learned on all accounts. And that is augury learned on all accounts. We have all the prayers, 
on all the accounts now. We just gotta get the prayer levels. And that cost me 400 million GP or something like that. Dude, I gotta give a massive shout out to Shooting Stars. All of my accounts have 68 mining now, which is the prerequisite for Dragon Slayer 2. You have to get 68 mining, otherwise you can't do the quest. And I've literally just been at AFK for two weeks on all my accounts for 68 mining. Shout out to Shooting Stars, man. That is Dragon Slayer 2 done on Snake Upton. Let me pet that dog. And after getting the training, I'm only 45,000 XP away from being able to wield an Osmumpton's Fang. How good's that? Four accounts to go. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I just finished Legends Quest on Cake Upton and this one feels weird. This must have been one of my old uh, group Iron Man or something like that. The skills are already trained. Uh, you're supposed to put this on agility, but I need 60 thieving and I already have the agility level for Dragon's Light 2. Uh, this hurts to watch, bro. It hurts to watch. I don't think anyone in the history of the entirety of RuneScape has ever done this before. Like, who puts this on thieving? It's such an easy skill. And I'm gonna need 70 agility on all the accounts eventually anyway. What am I doing? Anyway, on a completely unrelated note, I am going to prison. And that is Cake Upton finished with Dragon Slayer 2 now. And that leaves three accounts to go. We're almost there. I know I said last time is going to be the last time, but uh, actually one more time. Uh, 30 mil a piece for each of these accounts running through to buy three bonds for 45 days membership. And you can't make this shit up. Literally 10 hours after I bought these bonds on these accounts, uh, Jagex put out a tweet saying that there was a promotion for bonds. I would have got an extra 60 days. Sometimes they just don't want to see you win. You'll have to excuse the, uh, the microphone right now. I'm currently on my under desk treadmill, but that is another champion scroll. Yo, I've been on this treadmill for 14 minutes and 26 seconds, bro. And there's another champion scroll. What the hell's going on? Dude, three champion scrolls. I don't, I don't get it, man. Right, that's a fourth one. There's, there's another one. <clears throat> I, I, all right, man. I just, let's get a fifth, I guess. Okay, I was recording the wrong screen, but I'm planting the yummy tree on the f***ing Drake Upton account. There's a 50% chance of failing it when you plant it. I went through eight seeds. What the f***? I'm so unlucky, dude. Oh, and while I was literally sat here telling you guys about that, it died. You, there's a timer on it. <laughs> I hate my life, man. I fucking hate my life. Another three. What the f- And that is Dragon Slayer 2 on Drake Upton. That means there's one account to go. Holy f- It's actually going to happen today. I'm going to finish this today. Such a large and in charge moment here, ladies and gents. This is the last Legends quest we have to do. The last Legends quest. 19 more quest points and we're Dragon Slayer 2 on the last account. I've also just come to the realization that this is the last time I'm ever going to have to do this dog shit fucking part of any quest. This, this interface is just awful do, do these buttons even do anything like what's the point of them you know and for the final time this is going to be 200 quest points on an alt account observatory quest completed 200 quest points just dragon slayer two left to go Holy shit. Galvec is defeated for the very last time we avenge bob for the 10th time in RuneScape, we lay the poor cat to rest. Teleport to the Myths Guild. Speak to Alec Kincaid. Talk about the quest. And there it is. Dragon Slayer 2 completed for the 10th time. I'm getting ready to film the last clip of the video with all the accounts in their Justy and Fangs and, you know, the full Rune Dragon kit. And you need 37 Slayer to wear insulated boots. <laughs> Only five of the 10 accounts have 37 Slayer. 
This is definitely a future Jake problem. And that is it. All of the accounts are done. Stood behind me. Dragon Slayer 2 unlocked on all of them. Let me give you a quick rundown on the accounts. This is Eviescape, obviously my main max total. This is Jake Upton. This is my main alt account. 1800 total and has a max house and everything like that. This one was the one that already had Dragon Slayer 2 complete before all of this. This is Rake Upton, 90 attack, 95 strength, 90 defense. Just missing the Infernal Cape, which I will have to get on all of the rest of the accounts. They're all missing Infernal Capes from here. This is Cake Upton, 90 attack, 94 strength, 90 defense. This one is Break Upton, 79 attack currently. Still can't wield the Osmumpton's Fang or the Hydra Leather, but we are currently working on that. Still max gear and almost done here. Once again, just the Infernal Cape missing on this bad boy. This is Snake Upton, 82 attack, 90 strength, 85 defense. This was my old group Iron Man account, so it has a high farming level. Really comes in handy in Gemma's Zero. This is Bake Upton, 74 attack. This one's the furthest off 82 for that Oz Mumpton's Fang, but Saturn Nightmare Zone getting quite a bit of XP per hour at the moment. We'll be there very soon and only 79 defense. So we'll work on that for, for Missouri, but has everything on the account ready to go once it is able to wield it. And we'll get there soon. This is Shake Upton, 78 attack. Can wield a Dragon Hunter Lance if I want to just stop there, but we'll go to 82 anyway. The Fang is the best in slot. Second to last, we have Wake Upton, 82 attack, 90 strength, 81 defense, completely maxed out. Looking very good. And last, but certainly not least, Drake Upton, 81 attack, almost at that 82. 76 defense, which we will get to 80 as well. And once again, just everything on the account that is necessary for killing rune dragons. The squad is finally complete. I think my favorite part about all these accounts is having a different hair color for each of them. The same style, just a different color for each row. It just looks so funny standing behind me. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see me kill 100,000 rune dragons, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life for squint and can't just step. We're bait through thick and thin. She already fixed, so I'm halfway there.